and welcome to Chrysalis Chats. My name is Tanya and like a caterpillar to a butterfly, I help people metamorphosize their diets and lifestyles to be plant-based. And today we're talking all about grapefruit. That's right, the wonderful, amazing, stupendous, loaded with vitamin C and flavor, not to mention energy, grapefruit. One and only, okay? <laughs> So with that said, friends, how do you pick a good grapefruit? Well, I'm so glad you're thinking about it because I love grapefruit. Personally, it is one of my favorite foods, hands down. Reasons being, it tastes delicious. It's super, I just feel like it's juicy and hydrating and just so good for me. I know for a fact that grapefruit and other citruses, but especially grapefruit, are really good for cleansing out any additional mucus you might have in your body, which a lot of us, as I'm sure you know, friend, a lot of us just have mucus in our body. And that has to do with a lot of different things, what we've been eating in our food supply, as well as what's going on in our atmosphere, okay, in terms of weather control and things of that sort. So with that said, it's really good for you to eat grapefruit, and today we're talking about how to choose a good one. So. The first thing that I like to look for when I'm choosing a good grapefruit is the color. As you can see, this is a beautiful orange, okay? This grapefruit is amazing, okay? And this is actually on the underside a really light color. I wanted to show you the difference. So there's that color and then there's like the much darker, richer color you can see right there. Generally speaking, you want to look for a grapefruit that has majority, if not all, this color. Reason being, when you cut it open, and I have one cut open here to show you guys as soon as I can prevent things from rolling down this little hill. <laughs> so this is what it looks like on the inside. You can see that, right? And notice the outside, gorgeous, right? It's that dark orange color that we were talking about. And then look at the beautiful orange on the inside. This is so sweet, it is so good. Oftentimes, I think people don't feel that they like grapefruit. Maybe you're one of them watching this, and I hope so, because we think that we don't like it, and I myself was one of those people, you know, because we haven't experienced a good grapefruit. A lot of times, the grapefruits you'll find at the store, they're really pale on the outside, they don't taste good, they're super sour, they don't have much flavor, they're not sweet at all, and that's like not my kind of grapefruit, you know, but this, the stuff I just told you, look for basically the color. That's the number one thing. The second factor and probably, um, you know, another really important thing to look out for when you're going to get your grapefruit is make sure that when you squeeze it, it's firm. You don't want it to be mushy. Now, when it is that nice dark color I just showed you like that, it will start to soften up. And if your whole grapefruit, like the one I cut here and showed you, if it is really dark on the outside, it's gonna be softer generally, like here on the skin. It's similar to other fruits where if it's soft, like you can hardly press it or it's a little soft, it's totally fine. However, if it's like really soft where you feel like your thumb might just like go into the fruit, just like most other fruits, that's a good indicator. Nah, that's a little too ripe. I'm gonna pass. Thanks, but no thanks. So. Yeah, and the third thing, you know, obviously go organic whenever you can. Grapefruit has a nice thicker skin, so it's not as um, susceptible as a fruit whose skin you would be eating, such as apples or peaches or nectarines or pears. Those you really want to make sure you try to get organic because you're eating the skin that whatever was sprayed on it was sprayed on. But in the case of grapefruits, I just find that organic tastes better, like with most uh, fruits and veggies. So with that said, my beautiful vegan friends or friends interested in introducing more plants into your lifestyle, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Be sure to stay connected. Check out my website, chrysalisandcocoon.com. And like this video. Show your girl some vegan love by hitting that like button. Put a comment down below letting us know how you like to enjoy your grapefruit. Do you put some sugar on it? Do you eat it plain? Do you juice it? What do you do with your grapefruit? How often do you eat grapefruit? What gets you jazzed about the grapefruit? With that said, friends, whether you're just a little caterpillar starting off, like, where are the leaves? or a full-fledged butterfly sipping the nectar of a plant-based diet, you, my friend, are awesome. Have a blessed day.